I've often wondered what makes a perfect cookie. It could be a little extra brown sugar, or perhaps a little less butter. If you make a slight variation to your favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe, but only bake it a few times a year, it's likely that you will not be able to try enough things to figure out what your favorite recipe actually is. To solve this problem, I built a machine that allows me to mix a single cookie, and so I can have a different recipe for each cookie on the sheet. This way I can taste all of them and figure out which recipe variations I like the most. The machine consists of a carousel, where each station on the carousel contains a specific ingredient. The ingredients are dispensed carefully onto a balance, and the entire system is monitored and controlled by a computer program. This way I can set my desired value of each ingredient in the computer interface, and then press the dispense button, and the carousel will rotate around and that ingredient will be dispensed. Currently the system doesn't have a mixer, so after all of the uh, appropriate ingredients are dispensed, I just mix it manually with a spoon, and then add in the last ingredients, which are typically flour and chocolate chips. By using this machine, I can test 20 or 30 different cookie recipes or cookie recipe variations in one afternoon. One surprising result is that adding more flour to the cookie doesn't necessarily make it drier or more crumbly. In fact, having too little flour makes the dough very wet, which spreads out in the oven and then becomes crisp because all of the uh, liquid, all of the water has been uh, cooked away. With more flour, the cookie tends to stay closer together and actually retains a bit more moisture, it seems to me. Also, surprisingly, adding more brown sugar did not tend to make the cookies more chewy, which is sometimes a quality ascribed to uh, adding more brown sugar. I haven't used the machine extensively to try all kinds of different recipe variations. I've mostly been refining the machine itself and making sure that it runs smoothly enough for me to use it easily. Luckily, since it's so difficult to mess up a chocolate chip cookie, uh, eating the mistakes is typically not all that much of a penalty. Okay, see you next time. Bye.